What's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt with James. And we are driving this week the Hynix 6. Do you like my French accent, James? Yes, very much. <laughs> <laughs> we are a car reviewer from Canada, but we're going to talk also about what's available in the US for this cool car. But first, let's ask the big question. Ionic 5 or Ionic 6? Which one do you choose, James? The Ionic 5 without any doubt. Why? Because of the look, Matt. It's oh. so cyberpunk, so retro. It's just perfect. I know the range is not the same as the Ionic 6, but still, for me, it's the Ionic 5. Yeah, the look is completely different. You know, when you also compare and put Kia in the equation of design oh. versus the Ionic 5 and the EV6, you can see that the Ionic 6 is looking in that luxury segment where you will see a lot of buyer also compare it to the EV6. So this is kind of strange though. If you like a more retro design, you will find it in the Ionic 5, but also a complete configuration that feels more like a SUV rather than exactly. a sedan, just like that the Hynix is offering you right now. But I really dig the look, you know, that rear of the car, which is looking like a 911, so yeah. posh. <laughs> but it stops there. It's not a 911 at all. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So you've got different version, different configuration, but once you get inside, there's those two winglets right here. What do you think of those, though? It's very ugly, but I know why it's there. It's because <laughs> of the mirrors. We don't have the electronic mirrors. We just have the classic one here in Canada. But over the sea, you're lucky because you have those little screens just here for the mirrors. Legislation, laws, you know, it's always complicated over here. Overall, the interior design is really decent. You can see that Hyundai Adian everywhere. Those two screens are really, really easy to read, but there's a ton of information. And how do you like the reaction of that multimedia system once you go through it? It's pretty great, Matt. The only thing I don't like about the presentation of the interior is just the middle console, just here with the buttons for the windows yeah. to lock and unlock the vehicle. The doors, they're pure. There's nothing, just the handles, but it, it's kind of missing something. You have to look for it. Yeah. Plastic, plastic. Also. <laughs> it's kind of not really great to have this kind of plastic in those doors, you know, in such a car that will cost a high price and which is kind of looking luxury oriented. Some people will tell you that the seats are really hard. No, I think they're comfortable. Just the seat base is a bit short but it's a Korean vehicle. They need to study a little bit more the North American anatomy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once you get in the rear, enough room for your legs, for your shoulder to be comfortable once again, but you gotta be careful if you're tall, you know, with the head bend a little bit over and there you go. You're gonna be perfectly fine for the long ride. Once you're gonna open the trunk, okay room, okay storage for your luggage, but if you pull back the seat, next thing you know, you've got that arch, which is not really great. If you want more storage space, you might want to go with the Ionic 5. Ionic though. 5 for the win, yay! <laughs> and how about rolling performance, uh, you know, battery charging? Well, they pretty much have the same configuration. With an all-wheel drive, though, you've got something which is kind of crazy. If you go with the 20 inches wheel, you're going to have less electric range. Are you willing to sacrifice range for style? Yeah, that's where I have some difficulties with the style of electric vehicles because, on my opinion, when you have an electric vehicle, you have a green vehicle, your goal is to do as much kilometers, as much miles as you can, but, you know, bring the style in and just sacrificing those kilometers, yeah. and there's just no sense doing so. Yeah, spending some money to get less range, but great looking wheels. Yeah. I would not go for that. <laughs> Otherwise, acceleration are really strong from zero kilometers to 100 or from zero to 60 miles per hour. But once you're going to drive on the highway, next thing that's happening, if you want to pass a vehicle, it's pretty lazy. Yeah, just like all electric vehicles. They're not really performant when it comes to high speed or passing. It's just that big bang off the line, which is kind of great. But Matt, that's what we need here in Canada because we can't ride <laughs> over 100 kilometers per hour. There you go, so it's pretty fine. Driving mode are reactive. They're gonna change every aspect of the car and it's comfortable, it's 
perfect, you know, for comfort, highway cruising, whatever you want. So it's right there on that balance of a great handling car. But also, once you're going to charge the car, though, this one, the Ionic 6, has some preheating feature for the battery. So if there's cold temperature outside, that's a thumbs up versus the Ionic 5, though. Solid, yeah. So what about the price, James? Is it the same price, 5 versus 6? You'll have to pay a little bit more for the INX6 here in Canada, but you told me earlier that in the US, you have a more affordable version of the INX6. What is it? Why don't we have that here in Canada? You know, less range, okay, but more affordable. So once again, electric vehicle, the biggest problem here that they are popular, yeah, but people think and think about it. It's because of the high price you're gonna spend. Why not make a really affordable sedan version of that six and people will go crazy for that. But are they gonna be able to create enough of them for the demand? No, not sure about that. So final choice, Ionic 5 or Ionic 6? I stand by myself. I like five. <laughs> I would go for this one for the six. The look is much cooler. The battery feature, the range, the fun, the comfortable car. But uh, I'm not ready to spend that much money now for an electric vehicle while I still have a good truck to use for every day. V8 power, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it, it seems pretty, <laughs> pretty strange to say that. But I'm not ready to change my truck as long as it won't break past to a point where I cannot fix it. As long as you're not doing the Flintstones for going forward, <laughs> you're still okay. So what do you think about that? Ionic 5 versus Ionic 6. Otherwise, comment in the section down there below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you another time on another video of Car Question.